So after his older generation, they have retired from jobs and graduated from parenting and are moving on to their next phase of life by seeking happiness through hobbies and keeping up with current trends. Chen min -jung has more. People don't just come to this cafe at Pochan to get a latte. It's also a place of pilgrimage for fans of trot singer Im myung -um. There is lots of attention on the fan culture of younger generations. But people in their 50s, 60s, and even in their 80s are also extremely passionate when it comes to idolizing celebrities. Many became fans of Im myung -um because his songs were able to soothe the hearts of adults whose children had left the nest. I raised my grandchild for 13 years and now she's grown and independent. It really made me and my husband feel empty nested and sad. Then I came across Lee myung on TV one day and it really hit me. His songs really touched my heart and I broke into tears. While some elderly people find it difficult to keep up with the digital way of living, there are many seniors who are so accustomed to it that they've even taken up second jobs as YouTubers. This is Kang Chol Jin, a 69-year-old senior YouTuber. Kang has started his own YouTube channel to share his know-how on how to do proper exercises for those in a similar age bracket. Ever since I was young, I've always wanted to become a teacher, and I have worked hard and accomplished that. Now I'm living my second life as a YouTuber. Kang has put a lot of effort into learning the techniques of becoming a successful YouTuber, and now he's able to do everything alone from scratch. There are also others who go beyond this and spend the time doing what they like while helping others at the same time. A group of five retired men meet regularly to live stream products for neighborhood businesses. We spend our own money and time doing this and it feels great that we can help people out. If I was working at a company, I wouldn't have had the time to do this. With older adults changing lifestyles come new consumption patterns. Rather than cooking meals from scratch, more and more people in their 50s and older are starting to buy easy-to-cook meal kits. Just like this one, which has all the ingredients that are needed to make a soft tofu stew. I become lazier as I get older. Back in the days, these meal kits didn't exist, but nowadays there's so much we can buy. It's better than going to markets and buying all the ingredients every time. According to a trend report published by Lotte members, sales of meal kits increased 16% in 2019 compared to three years ago. Studies also show that the proportion of consumers in their 50s and 60s will overtake those in their 30s and 40s in 2021. Many of the children of those in their 50s and 60s have jobs or are married. So in most cases, it's just two people in the family. Most consumers would think that it's inconvenient to make food from scratch. For many older Koreans, the next chapter of their lives involves online services, keeping up with the current trends, and doing things they didn't previously have time for. Choi Min-jung, Arirang News.